When I set out for my day, I didn't really have a set plan, but I knew the general set of priorities I wanted to accomplish. Visit here, see them, and eat there. I love the flow of the flexible life. I mean, I have obligations, but I know that they're not life or death situations. Maybe I need more of those in my life, I don't know. In the carefree flow of my day, you come in uninvited, barreling through with, with a boisterousness and intoxicating sweetness. I sometimes don't notice until it's too late. You had already gained momentum. You had become the train of my thought. Each passing container filled to the brim with memories and emotions. I give in to the diabetic sweetness. Knowing full well, I'm amputating myself. I lose the use of my legs. I don't go outside anymore. Afraid of an encounter with you, my vision is pitiful. Everywhere I look, I see you, my eyes are useless. Even when I'm locked in the confines of my room, you find a way in. My ears become superhuman. Every laughter, flapping of flip-flaps outside my window all become harbingers of your presence, but with no proof, my ears deceive me. Even my nose decides to join in my assault. I can tell who's passing by my door by their smell, some sweet, others soft and even a few sour ones. When I deny one sensory organ, a soldier for my brain to use against me, the others become stronger. I'm under assault, all because my mind, the most powerful part of me, has decided to look for you. I know it's not love. If it is love, I don't want it. This is a sickness and a, an obsession. My mind has been hijacked. My, ha my heart has become a puppet, my own body turned against me. I heard that there's nothing stronger than the human spirit. Is it true? I know of a people who committed themselves to a cause and in spite of the adversity they faced, they found a way to the top of the mountain. However, those are the battles and victories that are sung, the ones that are written about in books and movies and told around campfires, but we rarely see the battles that happen in everyday lives. They're not glorified. The struggle that everybody faces, the struggles that are subtle and invasive, the battles that you cannot really put your finger on but affects you regardless. They're there and they can be crippling.